Hey, Elizabeth, it's AJ again. Um, I'm getting sick of all my messages. I promise I'll stop. It's just... Look, I, I just wish you'd give me another chance. I mean, I realize that I've been a possessive, jealous jerk, and I, I just want a chance to make it up to you. I, I think we were on the verge of something really great, and I just don't want to throw it away before it begins. I don't really care about what AJ... Hey. For your face. If you need it. You mean if? Monica's not here, Michael's not here. You know, you don't have an audience for all that sympathy you want, so you probably don't need that ice back, huh? Of course I need it. Sonny decked me. Sonny punched you in the jaw. How much damage could he have done? Carly, the guy's a boxer. He could have killed me. Then why'd you badger him? Why'd you egg him oh, on? Great. You know what? Blame the victim. Victim? Come on, I don't see a victim here. I see a loser with a big mouth. Victim. Unless... Hey, you know what, Carly? Oh. Thanks for the TLC, all right? Go show yourself out. And as a matter of fact, don't worry about a thing. I won't sue you or your fine establishment for that vicious attack that that idiot perpetrated Unless on me. Unless you wanted Sonny to hit you. Why the hell would I want Sonny to hit me? Because you wanted to punish yourself for botching things up with your would-be girlfriend, Elizabeth. That's why. I know Elizabeth. Getting sucker punched by Sonny had nothing to do with Elizabeth. Oh, you keep telling yourself that. You know the problem with you, AJ? Oh, no. This ought to be good. Oh, you're not only a self-destructive masochist, you're a lazy oh. self-destructive masochist. I mean, you get dumped by yet another girl, and instead of just putting your fist through the wall or going to some dive and hitting some stranger, you show up at my posh hotel and you taunt someone until they attack you. No, yeah, you're right. You know, you know, putting my fist through a wall or, or sucker punching some stranger, that would have been a lot more honorable, well, right? Whatever happened to the old AJ, who would crawl into bed with the only inanimate object who would have him? Hmm? You know, Carly, as I recall, you were very animated, especially when you climbed on top of me. <laughs> you know the good thing about being lazy, AJ? Is that these drinks, they won't pour themselves. Bottles don't come to you. You'd have to get off your lazy butt to nosedive off that wagon. And you won't do that. I'm proud of you. You're a real giver, aren't you? I do my humble best. Yeah, I remember when we were married, you gave it up to Sonny. And when that didn't work out, you gave it up to Jax. And then when that didn't work out, well, you gave it up to Johnny. You know, I bet I've talked to Elizabeth more recently than you've communicated with any of the guys that you shared your bed with. Well, there he is, huh? There is the AJ I know. You suddenly get a case of the owies, and to make yourself feel better, you like to make other people feel worse. Oh, come on, Carly. I'd never accuse you of having feelings. <laughs> I'm talking about you. I'm talking about the situation with Sonny. Yeah. All, all he did was punch you in the face and bruise your ego. You flopping around on the floor, breathing heavy. What the hell's wrong with you? What was going on? I guess there's no point in hiding it anymore. I, I get panic attacks. Panic attacks? Yeah, Merry Christmas. Wow. Panic attacks, really? Well, I guess the big question, AJ, is what are you afraid of? What am I so afraid of? That, uh, that's a real good question. Hmm. Shall we explore it together? Yes, let's, Carly. I really want to open myself up to you, because I know you really care. Okay, you're right. I don't care, all right? I don't, but I do care about Michael. And since you weaseled your way back into his life, I don't want him to think that it's his job to fix you in case you crash and burn right on schedule, okay? No, I'm Wait, worried. no. Have you talked to a doctor about this? I have it under control. Have it under control? Like you had it under control earlier when you were falling down and you're losing your breath? It was like you were having a heart I'm attack. help. Elizabeth is helping me. Eli she was until you showed her that you're a possessive, jealous jerk. Those were your words. You know, you could always hire someone to terrorize her. It worked so well with Courtney. It did. I'll get Elizabeth back. Look, I'm not about to let the best thing that's happened to me since Michael agreed to take me back into his life. I'm not gonna lose it. Okay, I'm not telling you this for you. I'm telling you this for Michael. Figure this out, face it head on, and get some help. And let Elizabeth go. She's clearly moving on to Nicholas, so you should move on too. The hell I will.
Look, I know how AJ was before he died, but he's really trying to change, and I don't know, I have compassion for him. Then go see him. Maybe it's best if you hear him out, I don't know. Reverse psychology? No, no, I'm serious. If you want to, go. The launch is ready. I'll no, be fine here no, by myself. No, no, I don't... No, it's better that I just stay away. Because whatever was between us, this flirtation thing, uh, it's best that it burned out quickly, because it could have gotten really messy. Yeah. Well, maybe, uh... Maybe AJ did you a favor, giving you a glimpse into who he truly is. He's not all that bad. He's bad enough. Okay, I'm gonna go see if there's anything edible in your kitchen. Elizabeth, your phone. <phone rings> Elizabeth's phone, Nicholas Cassadine speaking. Nicholas, what are you doing answering Elizabeth's phone? Naturally, your cupboards are bare, so Actually, I'm gonna go Actually, hold on, AJ, she's, she's right here. And just so you understand, this isn't what it seems. Oh, I understand perfectly. Hey, thanks for clarifying things for me. Well, you're what? AJ? Oh, so, so now you'll talk to me. Hey, let me ask you something, Elizabeth. How long did you wait? What, an hour, two hours? Wait for what? It hasn't even been a day since you broke things off with me and what, now you're playing, playing house with Nicholas? Wait, that is, this is not what's going on. I got your message loud and clear, Elizabeth. You have a nice life. AJ? Hello? Boy, that's a tough break. What are you doing? Having a drink. You want a shot? No, and you don't either. Oh, how wrong you are. Okay, stop joking around. I'm not joking. You're not drinking either. No, you were right, Carly. I messed up. Right now, Elizabeth is getting all cozy with Nicholas. So what? And this is how you deal with it? You get a brush off from one girl and you're gonna jump right off the wagon? What the hell do you care? Come on, Carly, this is the moment you've been waiting for, huh? You get to watch me get smashed and prove to Michael that I'm the same guy that I've always been, that I haven't changed. And here's the kicker. You don't even have to lift a finger, do you? Yeah, there's no drugging, there's no laundry carts, there's no dumping me off in some alley. All you have to do is watch me drink my life to pieces. So put your feet up, Carly, because it's going to be a hell of a show. Fine. Go ahead. Make my day. Go ahead. Drink. Down the whole decanter. Let's face it, AJ. Your college years weren't a total waste. No one could chug vodka like you. Yeah, you'd like what are you that, you? You'd like it, wouldn't you? Am I stuttering? Drink. The sooner you get smashed, the sooner things will go back to the way they're supposed to be. Michael will see you for the loser that you are. Hell, by the time you wake up in the drunk tank after your first bender Sunday, and I will look like complete angels. You will lose your son, and we'll get ours back. Oh, Michael's better off without me, right? Is that it? Oh, my God. Finally, finally, we agree on something, right? Come on. What are you waiting for? Oh, don't tell me you have forgotten to toss one back. Let me help you out. I mean, after that whole situation with Brenda and Michael, I gotta tell you, I could use a drink. So, there you go. Just lift it to your lips and toss back the pain. Bottoms up. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, hit me? I dare you. Thank <laughs> you. 